Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 23 of season 2 of the Age of Madness Rides. It's going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, Grandma. That she is. You still just wanted your son for yourself.
So then after that, she just dies? It's so messed up. Oh, use me. I figured she was gonna die anyway because especially with the last couple of weeks with any episode focusing on her it just made it you know you know how like when most anime characters have that flashback and such uh, on their whole life and everything where it's just flashing before their eyes those are like the big big moments when you know characters about to die you did you protected her as best as you could They make her die so quick. He is, but... If anybody did something, mm hmm. Oh. I understand that, but.
So now grandma dead too. Mm. Wait! The one lady. Oh, so like the Persona 4 God? Is honestly, he's not your dad. See, my thing is this. Let me say something. You think, okay, while she's doing all this extra versus the other guy, I mean, shouldn't y'all be leaving? Oh. Right? Because did you just see her mouth and her eyes? I mean, she has to. I mean, there is no one else who can kill the damn thing. I, it, honestly, I think she's just playing with it. Okay. 
do you want to die? Maybe. So then maybe just by destroying the book? Oh my god. Go, you can't go in there by yourself. And honestly, we don't want that. Ha, <laughs> I mean, we also figured that, but duh.
Nothing. Once again, what is with this show abruptly ending? Oh my god. But, I mean, you know what? It's not that bad. At least, it, you know what? At least it didn't end on a really good fight. And it was like, hey, yo, we see you next week. Did you surprise him? As we talked about. Mm hmm Yeah. But, this was good. I'm glad Phil is okay. I'm glad she saved. I'm glad she kind of really had one final moment with her dad even though it really wasn't her dad it was just like something taking on his form and such so it was just interesting for her to have like not really even a conversation she couldn't even have a full-on conversation because of the fact is he was only there to destroy the person who threatened both Abakone and Philomena so whoever it was regardless they were gonna die but Grandma is gone. That's all I care about. Fucking grandma. Fuck her. Grandma is gone. Hooray. The, the hills are alive. I am happy. I feel like I can... My acne has healed. I feel like I can do anything now. Now that grandma is fucking dead. Because Jesus Christ. Freaking grandma. Aww. Okay, even though, let me see something real quick. Um, even though it said the show must go on, um, one, um, almost saying, well, no, hold on. This was, yeah, this was, yeah. Even though next week is the last episode, especially with the title of the final episode, it still feels like maybe they could have like an OVA or something come up soon. Um, I'm not 100% sure because, you know, psh, who knows what the heck they're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. And especially, you know, next week with announcing whatever the heck is going to happen and such. But this was a really interesting episode for what it was. I love the fact that, you know, Phil got to, like I said have one little kind of last conversation with her quote unquote father. The the battle oh my god, what the hell was that? Oh my god, just but it was good though. It's good though. It wasn't Jujutsu Kaisen good, but it was still good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um but now with this final episode looking at the previews of it, I mean how are you going to wrap this all up by next week? I mean mm. I don't know. I'm a little hesitant about that. But, you know, that's the good thing about just watching it. But something tells me it's going to open it up for a potential third season if they really want to do it and such. And because of the fact is it's a popular show, I think they'll probably be like, hey, you know, here's a confirm or something for season three. But it took a while for season two to come out. I do remember that already getting the confirmation that season two was going to, you know, come out. I will still say, and I'll probably go more in depth in it next week. I did still, I do still prefer season one over season two. This was so good. Don't get me wrong about that. But I feel like the pacing, I don't, I don't really care about the fact that it was closed in two parts. 
I'm not mad about that. You have to do what you have to do, especially with whatever company you're working for. And they say, hey, I think this is best to do two cures, but, you know, we're going to focus or 24 episodes, but we're going to put it in parts and such. That's like the same thing with Bleach with their, what, four cures and we're halfway done. Like with the way the Thousand Year Bullet War is, we're very much almost done with the show. Um... It's not that much that we have to go on, but they're going to stretch it because, you know, Kubo is working with them on it. Now, with this, it, it's a little different, but there were times where it felt really, really slow. And I think we'll talk more about that when we get into the final episode next Thursday when I when eventually when I do watch it. But that was only my little nitpick. I still enjoyed this season, but if I still had to choose between season one and season two, I would definitely choose season one. But I did like season two. For the fact is that Chisei has another family to go to besides going to, you know, Alios and Roof and Silver and everything. And in a way, like, Phil now has a new family as well. That's a good thing because Baby, you know, had her family and now everyone from her family is gone, including her own grandmother. She's, she's an orphan and nobody else really gives two shits about her except Isaac, Phil, wrong person, Isaac, Lucy, Chisei. And her cousin and so they are this little tight-knit family that they'll always do something for each other and I love that so if we do potentially get a third season I would love to see that relationship with all of them you know bloom or blossom even more into this little family that they have so hopefully fingers crossed we do get to see something like that but it's really the stage is you know it's there you can do it if you want to. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 23 of season 2 of the Ancient Magnus Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every time I join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!